Okay, so good morning, and welcome to today's National Letter of Intent Signing Ceremony. Um, what a fabulous day in Maverick Nation, and so uh, grateful to see all of you guys here to celebrate. Before I turn the microphone over to Mr. Arduini, I just want you guys to all see uh, the five athletes that will be signing today. Emmanuel Segoras, UT Cross Country and Track. Ella Flowers, USC Swimming. Megan Wetzel, Boston University Field Hockey. Aaron Walsh, Davidson College Field Hockey. And Sloan Davidson, UDA Field Hockey. All right, all together for all five. Can I get a move? Well, last June, 
Emmanuel Skoros broke Paul Geis' mile record, running four minutes and nine seconds at a meet in St. Louis. He had already last spring annihilated the 3,200 and 1,600 meter records, and along with three of his teammates set the 4 by 800 record. He won the 32 and the 16 at SPC, had a great summer running under 20 and under 18 for his dual country of Greece. And this fall, he was undefeated in cross country, including beating the number one runner in the state of Texas by 12 seconds at the McNeil Invitational. This past weekend, he ended his cross country career by shattering the SBC meet record running 15.06. And he still has the track season to go. He is the most hardworking, disciplined, focused athlete I have ever experienced. Uh, and he's been easy to coach for Coach Halligan and myself and other coaches. And really, the last two years, we've been facilitators, just helping him along the path that he is guiding for himself to achieve his dreams. Uh, he's going to be tremendously successful at the University of Texas both as a student and an athlete. He's tremendously motivated in academics as well as running. And one day he will run the 1500 meters in either the Olympics or the World Championships for his dual country that he loves so much, Greece. And I know that because that's his goal. I'll finish by saying this. Probably long after I'm dead and gone, People will still be saying there will never be another Emmanuel Scoros at St. John's. Congratulations, Emmanuel, and we love you. Now, Emmanuel, go ahead and sign your NLI from the University of Texas, and then you can have a few words and we'll have pictures. Sloan is 
been playing field hockey for St. John's since seventh grade and played on the varsity team for the last four years. She's been a part of Texas Pride Field Hockey Club since sixth grade. During her career, Sloan helped her Mavericks team win two SPC championships and one South Zone championship. In her four years, Sloan has found herself atop the leading scoreboard not only on her team, but in the SPC multiple times. Rounding out her career with a record high in her senior year of 45 goals and 19 assists. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she has earned all SBC conference team honors and led as a captain of her team. In addition to all that she has done for her team, she has received numerous honors outside of our conference. While there were many, some of the more notable were Max Field Hockey Top 100 in 2019 and Top 50 in 2020 player lists. Maxfield Hockey High School preseason players to watch, Maxfield Hockey West, Midwest All Region First Team twice, NFHCA All Region West Team, and NFHCA Third Team All American. As well as her impressive field hockey career at St. John's, Sloan is a three sport athlete, adding soccer and lacrosse to her resume. She enjoys doing both, and during her three going on four years on varsity lacrosse, helped her team in winning two SBC championships one South Zone Championship, and was a 2021 USA Lacrosse High School All-American. In addition to all of that athletically, academically, Sloan has maintained a high-level performance as well by being on the high honor roll since 2015 and being an academic All-American. While playing for Pride, Sloan has trained and competed in numerous tournaments at a high level in various places from Virginia and Chicago to Northwestern, Stanford, and Festival in Florida. Her team has either finished first or second place at many of them, making quite a mark, not just for Sloan, but for hockey in Texas. Finally, she has been in the Futures Program, now Nexus, for the U.S. Field Hockey Olympic Development Pipeline. While in the program, Sloan has competed at multiple regional tournaments where she has been chosen to play at select tournaments. She was selected for the Junior Olympics in 2019 in 2022 RISE Junior National Team Selection Camp. Sloan, I'm so glad to have gotten to meet you, honored to have gotten to coach you, and sad that it was only a year. You have definitely left a mark not only for St. John's Field Hockey, but for St. John's as a whole, as well as the entire field hockey community. I'm so excited for you and your new adventure that awaits you at UVA. I look forward to next SBC when we are sitting around waiting for our games watching UVA and cheering you on. Congratulations, Sloan. She will now sign the letter of intent. I'll give her some words.
We have Aaron Walsh, who is accompanied by her parents, Jim and Megan. Finally, Megan Wetzel, 
who is here, here with the parents, Ray and Nina. Megan practically began playing field hockey at the same time she began running when she was in kindergarten. She learned the sport in Baltimore, Maryland, and continued to play there and in the Northeast until middle school when she moved to Houston. It was then she began playing for Texas Pride and then high school played for St. John's, where she's been on the varsity team all four years, and in her senior year served as captain. During her time with the Mavericks, Megan helped her team to win not one, but two South Zone and SBC championships. Megan has been an integral part of the St. John's field hockey team, leading both offense and defense as one of the team's center midfielders, and was on the Max Field Hockey Class of 2022 Top 100 watch list. Her calm, composed demeanor has made her a major threat when competing, and her position will be a tough role to fill in the years to come. Megan is an all-around student athlete in every sense of the word. She has played multiple sports for St. John's, including basketball and lacrosse. While on the lacrosse team, she helped her team win South Zone, City, and the SBC Championship. She is academically as strong as athletically, with awards such as Academic All-American, the Presidential Outstanding Academic Excellence Award, and High Honor. She has a black belt in Hapkido, was a part of the National Honor Society, and, in the part, and, and part of the St. John's Women Help Empower Each Other Club. While playing for Texas Pride, Megan has participated in showcases, festivals, play days at colleges, and national indoor tournaments. Her team played top competition in each and made their mark while doing so. Just to name a few, at the Windy City Tournament in 2017, they finished second place. At the Stanford Fives in both 2017 and 2018, they were champions. And the Disney Showcase in 2019 finished first place in that pool. Megan has been a part of the future's now next program for multiple years, where she has trained at a high level and competed at not only the regional tournaments, but also the National Futures Championship. Wetzel, there are big shoes to fill in many ways with you leaving, but I am beyond excited for the exciting new journey that lives ahead of you. I know you will excel there just as you did here, and I cannot wait to see all your successes and hear all about them. Congratulations. Thank you. 
discussion, I'd like to say a few words, okay? Thank <laughs> you. 